Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. It's Friday, which means I bring to you yet another obscurity in literature. And today we have a book by an artist that I have been a big fan of for quite a few years now, and that is Brandon Graham's Royal Boiler. Now this is a bit of a unique book, and that's saying something, because most of Graham's work is really already out there. But it's stuff that I really enjoy, and basically ever since I first stumbled across this King City, I've pretty much given everything that he's written, you know, the benefit of a doubt. Even some of his uh, less than all ages stuff. Some of it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, first thing though, this book is quite the large tome. Grabbing another Brandon Graham book here, you can see uh, definitely a bit on the larger side of things. Unfortunately, just due to the way this book is laid out, you do have a bit of gutter loss because the pages are thinner than I would have hoped for, but you know, you get what you get. So you can see right away from the cover, this is a very eclectic mix of stuff, which is basically what this book is all about, which is basically all of Brandon Graham's work as well. There's mechs, there's anime references, there's sexy ladies, there's just stream of consciousness going on there. Um, and there's also a lot of commentary, which is kind of cool, and I, I actually really dig that. He usually has commentary interspersed throughout all his works anyways, but this book in particular has little blurbs on everything that's going on in there. Good old King City. One of these days, I will do a video on King City, which is probably one of the books that really got me back interested in comics in the first place, having spent many, many years in the world of manga. But yeah. A very French style of artist, Mr. Graham, is uh, a very clean line. I know they have a name for it, and I can't think of it at the moment. But man, did I enjoy King City. Actually, I really wanted to do a video on Profit. Profit is another book by him that I absolutely loved, and I don't know what I did with the early volumes. I had them in front of me the other day. We'll have to save them for later. Something about the architecture of his work, it's very reminiscent of, like, Stomonihe's Blaine. You know, there's lots of these big, abandoned, derelict industrial buildings, which I really like. It has that otherworldliness to it. And there's always inventory layouts on his work. Lots of puns. Lots and lots of puns. As well as just weird stuff. And porn. <laughs> There's a lot of porn. I gotta be really careful with this one because there is absolutely stuff in this book that will get us in trouble. And again, that's how multiple warheads started. You can see some of it on the page, and I'm just skipping over some of his image work in here. And actually, that's what's kind of cool about this book is it encompasses a lot of different stuff. While it is published by Image, there is work. I think King City eventually did end up with Image, but from a variety of publishers. There are actual comics interspersed throughout this, as well as the artist's take on a lot of influences and how things work in comics. Appleseed and a shout out to Gray. Oh boy, 1988. Yoshihisa Tagami. He also did Hirobi. I've got that book somewhere. Somewhere upstairs, or maybe it's on my parents, I don't know. I'm downstairs at the moment while I film this. But I ended up actually tracking down years ago some of the later English issues and some of the actual Japanese collected versions, which was kind of cool. Uh, and I have no idea what I do with any of them now, which is a shame. I want to get into some of the more... Kind of fan stuff here in the back. A lot of collage work as well. Very Kirby-esque. Elephant Man. Cover for Elephant Man. I thought he'd done that. I want to say there were some of his arc light illustrations in here as well. Pretty deadly. 
if I had seen that cover, I probably would have read it even more so. I liked Pretty Deadly, but then again, that does kind of... It's a weird book, but knowing that he did artwork for it doesn't really surprise me. Just some interesting art. I said I gotta be really careful about the sexy ladies in this book because there are an awful lot and it gets really bad at times. Gold Digger. Now that is a name I have not seen or heard in a long time. And Graham draws it way nicer than a uh, Fred Perry that did the originals. I can't even remember. I just I love the color work too. No, that's cool. I like how at times it's you know hard lines, soft lines, overtly detailed, the gray scale in there, and just his crazy use of color I love. Absolutely adore. And very random stuff. We get a ton of these kind of stream of consciousness pages in here. Skipping over the parts, hopefully, where we have all of the comics he was drawing for the porn company, which he literally did. They're in here somewhere, but... Just some cool stuff. It's very unique. There's no denying that. Who can you identify there? Getting into areas we probably shouldn't be. Good thing you can't see it all on the page. Just these weird, almost like sketchbook illustrations of just random, random stuff. But I dig it. Obviously there's a lot more, and obviously I was trying to be careful with uh, what we see and what we don't. But yeah, um, one of these days, like I said, we're definitely going to have to have the actual books he's done. We will do a video one of these days on King City, one of these days on Profit. Uh, but if you like the eclectic and eccentric art, I, I really don't think you can go wrong with any of the books that Brandon Graham's actually written or drawn himself. And I know I've done, what is it, Rain Like Hammers? Uh, but there's multiple Warheads, King City, Profit, which I've mentioned, and it still pisses me off that we have yet to see any kind of nice, hardbound, big deluxe collected edition, because if ever there was a book that deserves it, it's Profit. I mean, Profit was just weirdness. Weirdness to the extreme, and I absolutely enjoyed every second of it. We'll save that for another time. Yeah. <laughs> In the context of this series, it just totally makes sense. Come on, though. This stuff needs to be collected image and something besides just these flimsy trade paperbacks. And there's even Tom Parkinson Morgan artwork. Kill six million demons, dude. That's an extreme break. Anyway, okay. So, yeah. Uh, if you like eclectic artwork, definitely check out Graham's stuff. Royal Boiler, definitely if you're a fan of his other works. Uh... Really fantastic looking artwork in there. And with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.